Hey, we should fish this spot. That's like the fourth thing that I've seen. Like there was a lot of decent stuff in here. Oh, yeah. oh there he is, there he is, there he is. Whoa! Dude! <laughs> Dude, look at the size of that trout. All right, good morning, guys. So it is about seven o'clock right now, and I'm super tired because I've actually been up since about 3 a.m. And we've actually been out fishing this morning already for about an hour. Um, we got here right as the sun was coming up and we haven't gotten a single bite. It's been super slow. So I think we're gonna end up moving um, to a different spot. So we're gonna leave the kayaks loaded up. We're gonna hop in the truck and uh, go about a mile down the road to a spot that we actually fished the other day. We had some really good luck. We saw lots of fish and it's a little bit cooler this morning. So I'm hoping that the bite is gonna be even better than it was the other day. And we've got Cody from Crooked Smile fishing along with us today. So it should be a good day, guys. Let's get in the truck. Let's get over there and see if we can find some fish. Third spot of the day, we started out at that first spot. It didn't work out for us. Um, so we ended up leaving there. We stopped at a different spot over on the other side, but it's super windy, which kind of sucks because we know there's good fish over there. So we're gonna try fishing the side again, but we're like way further down. And we found like a little bayou here that we're able to kind of like slip our kayaks into. So we're gonna get out here and uh, fish some uncharted territory today. We're hoping mostly for speckled trout. There's probably gonna be some redfish cruising around. And uh, if we get really lucky, there might be some flounder as well. So let's get the boat in the water and uh, see what we can do. He's got it. He's got it. No. Damn it. Where did that fish go? There was a whole bunch of them. A whole school went by me. And then that one that was just by himself, he turned right on. And I just, I missed the hook set, but I felt him like thump it. So that, that one was definitely on me. But I'm bummed that I missed that one. That was, that was stupid. I pulled that hook out of his mouth because I got excited too fast. So lesson learned. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I didn't even have any cameras going either. <laughs> All right, I guess the one on my head was going. That's cool. I didn't uh, didn't think the camera was going. That's a nice spec too. It's a good one. Trout. Yes, sir. Nice. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, you can yeah, he's only about 13 and three quarters, but that's a pretty little trout. Finally uh, getting the day started. It's taken... Uh, Taking a couple hours and a couple different spots, but that's a pretty little sea trout, man. All right, James actually caught a fish. White paddle tail. I use my fishing pole. That was wild. He hooked up and then I thought I lost him. He was swimming straight at me. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Get in there. Got him. Yeah, buddy. That one's a keeper. 
That's a good one. Oh yeah, 16 and three quarters. Yeah, 16 and three quarters, that's a nice spec. I'm pretty stoked that we got that one. Um, I did recently film a uh, catch and cook on one of these guys, um, a little bit smaller one. And uh, we did fish tacos and it was really good. So I think we're gonna keep this one. I'll put him in the ice bag with the uh, the one that Cody caught earlier. All right, we got that trout bleeding out on the net down here. A little tip for you guys. I usually like to, I've got this bungee here that's really meant for the rod, but it's nice because you can stick the net in there. So once you bleed them out, I just stick them right in the net and just kind of leash it off to the boat there. And that way they can bleed out for a minute before you put them in your, uh, in your, um, fish bag or your cooler or whatever so that's what we're using right there um, down south lures skinny water fishing and uh, they say it's for redfish trout snook and flounder so far I've caught a uh, flounder and snook or not snook <laughs> snook so far I've caught flounder and I've caught redfish on these lures so they are pretty good I mean they, they seem to work they're just uh, a little small They've got a real skinny tail, which is kind of cool though, because it it flutters really nice in the water. So that's what we just caught that uh, that last, or actually the last two trout were on that. And then I like using this um, 1 8 ounce belly weighted jig. Really these are, are designed for bass fishing, but they work great for speckled trout fishing and even redfish. If you get into a bigger redfish, you know, these hooks are, are not necessarily meant to handle that, but for the most part, uh, most of your inshore fishing these things work real well and they just they swim real nice and I'm a big fan of them They've been working out for me real good. So we got that set up belly weighted. We got that tail You guys can just kind of see the uh, Just that amazing action on that swim bait and then uh, we're also using the old salty um, inshore seven foot three uh, medium power fast action this is a new rod um, i've been using it for a little bit over a week now and i actually will have a um, review of this rod up on my channel here soon as well as on um, fish brain so that'll be pretty cool all right guys so we got on that little trout bite in there it turned off the dolphins ended up coming in just like stirring everything up so we got a um, we got a few nice ones. I got the one keeper. Cody got his keeper. He actually he caught another keeper that we didn't end up uh, keeping. We just put it back. So we're gonna start heading back. We're gonna spend maybe like 10 minutes and see if I can get one of those redfish to strike. And if not, we're gonna move again. So we're gonna put the kayak back on the trailer and we're gonna head down the road to another spot. Um, and that's the spot that we fished the other day. And we know that there are nice trout as well as nice redfish over there. And there were lots of them. Um, the only reason we didn't go there earlier is because the wind was out of the north, but it's shifted now and it's coming like straight out of the east, kind of like southeast. So we're actually going directly into it, but that means that that far side should be a little bit more sheltered now and probably a little bit more manageable for us. So let's see if we can uh, make one more move today and get onto some nice fish. Thanks, sir. All right guys, so third uh, third time moving the kayaks around today. It's technically the fourth move. We tried coming to the spot earlier, but it was super windy, but the wind has shifted from the north to the southeast now. So this bank is just totally protected. It's just absolutely gorgeous out here right now. The water is just a little bit murky, just enough to where we can still see the trout, but they're gonna have trouble seeing us. So hopefully we can get onto some trout, redfish. We also saw a bunch of flounder out here yesterday, so. Got all kinds of potential guys. Let's get the boats unloaded and get in the water for the third time today. That's a heavy girl. Not as heavy as mine though. Big, oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, there's a monster. There, there is, right, right there. Hey, we should fish this spot. That's like, 
the fourth thing that I've seen. Like there was a lot of decent stuff in here. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Whoa, there he is. Yeah, boy. That's a good one. That's a good one, dude. Oh, what? No, -uh, dude, no, -uh. no, -uh. no, <laughs> it's not a snook. He says, no, -uh, dog, that is a trout. Dude, oh! what? Dude, look at the size of that trout. I wouldn't say it's a gator, but that's a big trout. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, let's get a measurement on this big girl. We're pretty sure it's a female. She's she's not grunting. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna put this one back. I don't want to keep the big breeders. I feel like that's just the wrong thing to do. And I, I don't need this much meat. I got sheep's head in the freezer. Alright, we got her tail pinched right on the bump. So she is 23 and a half. Yeah, 23 and a half. All right, guys, we're going to get this big girl back in the water. We're pretty positive it's a female. She feels like she's pregnant. It's just that's a thick fish, and uh, she's not grunting either. So, um, you know, I don't need this much meat. I got a bunch of sheep's head in the freezer. Um, probably going to go catch some pompano later on, too. So we're just going to put this one back. You can go back, breed, make more of these guys, and someone else can catch it one day. We're going to put this big girl back in the water right now. That is an amazing fish. He's, like, freaking out. Like, is it a snook? Oh, he's freaking out. There she goes, there she goes. Yo, what? Dude, that was absolutely insane. I cannot believe that just happened. I wouldn't necessarily like quite call it a gator, but that was a big trout. That was definitely my PB and that was crazy. I thought it was a redfish, man. We got in there, I saw a couple of fish. I thought they were small redfish, maybe even like large mullet. They didn't look very big. And then I literally turned to Cody and I'm like, dude, we got to fish this spot. I just saw a whole bunch of stuff. And like, while I was saying that, it was just like, Zzz. That was. Yeah, is it a snook? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can only Dude, know just that one's about it. that one's for for all you Pensacola fishing fanatics. That was definitely. That was a snook. That was my PB snook for sure. But dude, that was that was so sick, bro. Good stuff, man. Oh my god. Gonna, oh man. How to beat it? Yeah. But I had to put that fish back, guys. I know a lot of you. I I already know I'm gonna get that hate. Like that was good eating right there. But he's a breeder. No, that's a breeder, guys. It was definitely a female. She was thick. She was probably full of eggs. You gotta put those back. So no shame putting it back, guys. But we're gonna go see if we can get some more. That was so sick. All right, guys, we just got back to the boat launch. We tried for probably about another hour after that uh, that big trout. We didn't end up getting anything else, but dude, I'm not going to complain at all. Sometimes having those like quality over quantity days is exactly what you need. And I am stoked that I finally got that PB trout. It wasn't huge by any means. I know I was kind of freaking out when we caught it. Um, it definitely like wasn't a gator. It was only 23 and a half inches, but it was fat, dude. I mean, it was definitely a pregnant female um, getting ready to spawn. I mean, that thing was like thick, just shaped like a football. It was super heavy reeling it in. I really thought that I had a slot redfish. Um, I mean, that's how heavy that thing was and it was just ripping drag. So that was a ton of fun, guys. Anyway, um, we've been at it all day. I've been up since 3 a.m. I'm tired and I'm still going fishing again today i'm taking my wife out to the beach for that like sunset pompano bite hopefully so we might end up with another video today but we jump spots like three or four different times i'm exhausted so i'm gonna get packed up get out of here i appreciate you guys watching the video as always thank you so much
and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.